Hi, I'm Dr. Dave. In rural anatomy, habenula, diminutive of Latin habena meaning rain, originally denoted the stalk of the pineal gland, pineal habenula, the dunculus of pineal body, but gradually came to refer to a neighboring group of nerve cells with which the pineal gland was believed to be associated, the habenular nucleus. The habenular nucleus is a set of well-conserved structures in all vertebrate animals. Currently, the terminal anatomica term refers exclusively to this separate cell mass in the caudal and dorsal aspect of the dorsal thalamus, the epithalamus, embedded in the posterior end of the medullary striae from which it receives most of its afferent fibers, by way of the retroflex fasciculus. Habenula interpeduncular tract. It projects to the interpeduncular nucleus and other paramedian cell groups of the midbrain tegmentum. The habenula receives input from the brain via the stria medullaris thalami and outputs to many midbrain areas involved in releasing neuromodulators, such as dopamine, noradrenaline, and serotonin. The habenula was traditionally divided into lateral limic, and medial, motor, parts. Detailed examination of the region in the rat, however, suggested that the lateral part should be further divided into ten distinct subnuclei and the medial into five distinct subnuclei. The primary input regions to the lateral habenula are the lateral preoptic area, bringing input from the hippocampus and lateral septum, the ventral pallidum bringing input from the nucleus accumbens and media dorsal nucleus of the thalamus, the lateral hypothalamus, and the internal segment of the globus pallidus, bringing input from other basal ganglia structures. The outputs of the lateral habenula target dopaminergic regions, substantia nigra pars compacting the ventral tegmental area, serotonergic regions, median raft and dorsal raft nuclei, and a cholinergic region, the laterodorsal tegmental nucleus. Input to the medial habenula comes from a variety of regions and carries a number of different chemicals. Input regions include septal nuclei, the fimbrialis septi and triangularis septi nuclei, dopaminergic inputs from the interfascicular nucleus of the ventral tegmental area neuradrenergic inputs from the locus ceruleus, endobacergic inputs from the diagonal band of Broca. The medial habenula sends outputs of substance via an acetylcholine to the interpeduncular nucleus as well as to the pineal gland. The habenular nuclei have been shown to be involved in many functions, including pain processing, reproductive behavior, nutrition, sleep-wake cycles stress responses, and learning. Recent demonstrations using fMRI and single-unit electrophysiology have closely linked the function of the lateral habenula with reward processing, in particular with regard to encoding negative feedback or negative rewards. For instance, Matt Semido and Heiko Saka showed in 2007 that the firing of lateral habenula neurons in rhesus monkeys was complementary to the firing of dopaminergic neurons in the substantia nigra pars compacta. Dopaminergic neurons increase in firing rate in response to a stimulus that predicts reward, whereas lateral habenular neurons increase in firing rate in response to a stimulus that predicts a lack of reward. Thanks for listening. Goodbye.